And these people, you know, like you said, they're not even from the region. And they're just going back there thinking they have a right to go to somebody else's territory and do whatever they want. Like, and the people that support this need to think, would you like it if somebody come on to your land and did the same thing to you and kicked mm -hmm. you and your family completely off of your land? No, right, they exactly. would not like it. They would be pissed off as hell. Oh, yeah. Look what's going on on the border with Mexico. You know, to suppose uh, the Mexican government said, you know, we're, we're taking back California. And we're taking back some of these areas. We're taking back, say, like the southern part of the USA. And we're taking over, taking back California. Do you think people would just sit back and do nothing? I'm looking up the original Mexico map. Okay. So that way I can see what it looks like. So that way we have better context on this. So that way we can see what part of the United States. Like, and I've just found something that's on the National Geographic here. You can put uh, it up on the screen if you want. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. If I could get to this article here and it's a really good illustration of the land and mass that was lost by lost from Mexico and it's just crazy like while we're talking about this topic you could see where Mexico who had the land, they had all of California, all of Nevada, all of Utah, that south southwestern portion of Wyoming, mm -hmm. the western and southern parts of Colorado, the southwestern portion of Kansas, all of Arizona and New Mexico, the Oklahoma panhandle, and all of Texas, all of that territory that you see there was once part of Mexico. Right. So what about the, if they had the Greater Mexico plan to take yeah, back like, its region? Yeah, like the U.S. would not like it if there was a Greater Mexico plan, no more than the Jordanians, the Syrians, the Saudis, the Lebanese, and even the Egyptians and other people in that region. They would not, we would not like that. Like, no. what if Mexico imposed a greater Mexico plan to take back what was theirs? Right, and it actually was theirs. Yeah, it's like, theirs. it was legitimately it's theirs. Possible. So it is, and all these people that want to say, oh, these people are jumping the border illegally. Well, by technicality, that's whole portion of the country that I've just shown was originally part of Mexico. Right. They're the, they are the indigenous people of the area. Yeah. yeah. Like the that whole region of the country was lost by Mexico under U.S. imperialism. Right. So they just want their, their land back. Exactly. And they are indigenous to the area. They're indigenous to California. They're indigenous to Texas. Texas, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, portion of Oklahoma, Kansas, uh, <laughs> Colorado, and Wyoming. Right. And for a long period, not just this 80-year uh, period during which thousands and thousands of years the area belonged to well, actually, pretty much, it's just, it's just the people of the region. They just went from many different controls, many different players coming into the region and controlling it. I mean, these other people do a DNA test, and it comes back with a whole bunch of Eastern Europe. They're not indigenous to the land there. 
it was a big, like it's a sick memory did, tip. If you did um, a DNA analysis on the white populations here in North America, you would see the lineage date back to multiple European countries. Yes. And then the indigenous populations that are still here would be vindicated. Right. Which they should already feel vindicated because we're on stolen land that was not yes, ours yeah. when we come over here. So our ancestors many centuries ago, long before the turn of the millennia, did the same thing to indigenous populations here in North America as what the Zionists are doing to the Palestinians. Yeah, based on a stick fairy tale. Exactly. And they want to believe all of these superstitions, which are not true by a long shot. And that's why the, the, the true um, people that really um, read their Torah and really, you know, respect Judaism, they are so against this is Zionism. And they keep saying Zionism is not Judaism. Now here we have Christians that are Zionist in this country. Zionism is just kind of like a colonialist movement. 